Okay, so <clears throat> my YouTube is back. I had a short week uh, ban because I had a breakdown. I have PTSD, and when I am harassed and terrorized, I tend to break down. This happens when people intentionally go after the mentally ill, and it's a big part of why I'm saving now for a lawsuit against the people who have started all of this and against my family that's involved in it for the emotional distress that they have caused me over the last two years. It's going to take a long time before I'm able to afford that lawsuit, but I'm still not going to give up. And they're going to be in my comments saying, if I'm not talking about it every day, if I'm not crying every day, then it's not real and I've given up. And that's not true. Just because I have moved past my, pa my last breakdown does not mean that what they have done doesn't matter. Just because I'm not speaking about it every day doesn't mean that they didn't do it or that I'm not still working on what I can to solve the problem. There is not much I can do. I have no power and I have no money. All I can do is not run away and attempt to one day have justice against these channels. I'm going to try hard not to let them terrorize me into another breakdown. I can't promise anything. If they want me dead, they're going to make me kill myself, and there's nothing I can do to stop it. There's things other people can do, like reporting their channels and making sure that YouTube pays attention, because YouTube lets them slide. YouTube allows them to hurt people. YouTube doesn't care. And I don't know how to make them care. But I'm not going to give up. Because these people have gone after not only me, they've gone after my family. My deceased family. They went after my handicapped brother's grave in order to hurt me. And my own abusive family is involved in the situation. My abusive family, who I spoke out and I told people, hey, these people are abusive. There's no reason that my abusive family should be in my life right now after I've traveled 3,000 miles to get away from anybody that shares my blood. After I spoke out and told the world what these people are, the fact that they're still in my life is garbage <clears throat> and is evidence of the power that this group has to hurt and destroy. I keep seeing all these new videos about Ruby Frankie and what's happening and I keep hoping soon my family will be looked into. My sisters have kids that need to be looked into. My aunt has grandchildren that needs to be looked into. Could you imagine raising a child the way from the, my aunt the kind of person that would visit her own nephew's grave to piss on it just to hurt her own family member. Can you imagine being raised by that and then raising other children? Those children are not safe. None of the children in my family are safe. And there's nothing I can do. All I could do was get away from it. And I can't even do that because they follow you can't leave an abusive family. And I said that a long time ago, and my family proved it to be correct. My abusive family has proven that I'm not able to leave my abusive family. They've proven that by following me everywhere I go. They follow me to my YouTube. They follow me to my Facebook. They follow me. And I know people are saying, well, if you're not online... 
my life is online. I I'm I'm a recluse. I don't have friends. I don't have anything offline. So saying just go offline, you're basically telling me to kill myself because I don't have anything offline. And they know that. Because killing myself is what they want. It's what my family has wanted. And it's what these people that are helping my family wants. And they're going to continue denying it and saying that they're, they're not doing that. But there is no other reason to go after somebody who has mental health conditions. For three years, nonstop, seeing clearly the effect it's having on them. And you continue... You continue because you want the person to die. There is no other explanation for why they have continued this for so long. Other than the fact that they are abusive and they want their victim dead. And I'm not going to run away. I might die. They might kill me. But I'm going to fight until that time.